Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, thank you for us for friends to see my presentation right now, and also really thank you for us for my lecture, Dr. Freeman Dang Suslawati, to give me opportunity for presentation this moment, and also really thank you for us for you are spending time to see my presentation right now, and also really thank you for us for everybody and see my video in YouTube. Really thank you for us for that. Uh, I'm really appreciate for your time and also. Uh, so in this moment, I want to a presentation about metabolism system dominance. Uh, let me introduce myself. Um, uh, I am a traveler with number called G2L120006, and I'm postgraduate chemistry in our university. Uh, so, uh, ruminants are referred to the plant eating mammals, including sheep, goat, deer, cattle, buffaloes, bison, grafts, yaks, and etc. These cow chewing mammals have four chambers of stomach used for their digestion. The species, the species obtain their nutrition from plants, plus by adapting to a certain process called rumination. Uh, through the action of rumination, they ferment the food, uh, regurgitate and chewing their food before the main digestion process. The digestion process in the ruminants is completely different from human. The, the, the general process of the food digestion begins from the nose to the food pipe, from the stomach to the intestine, and continues. In the ruminants, this process is completely different. The digestion process in the ruminants, as well. Uh, as we all come across many, many cows, buffaloes, and other cattle red signs, uh, which are always seen chewing food even they uh, don't have food near them. This is because the digestion process in the ruminants begin by chewing and swallowing its food. And the main diet for the small animals includes grass, leaves, and other parts of plants. Uh, the plants part have high fiber content and to digest the fiber compression in the food which they eat and enzyme called cellulose is required, required uh, which is not produced by animals themselves. The stomach of this herbivore, herbivore, herbivores is divided into four chamber among this among which the most important one of the rumen as it is plays a major role in digestion and the fiber present in the food. So rum ruminants have four stomachs, namely rumen, reticulum, muscle, and rubomasum. Uh, digestion process nutrition in the reticulum, rumen, and omasum are carried out by, by rumen, uh, microbes, bacteria, fungi, and protozoa. Uh, remodel food uh, substance in the fermentative way so that it becomes uh, other compounds that are different from the molecules of the original for food substance. Uh, for example, protein is broken down into uh, ammonia and carbohydrates broken down into essential fatty acids. Okay. The digestion process in the ruminants uh, by, begins by chewing and swallowing its food. Ruminants do not complete chewing the food they eat, but just consume or gulp as much as they can, as they can, and then swallow the and then swallow the food. Uh, this is actually this is actually an adaptation by which these animals have. The fall food to spend as little time as possible fe feeding so that they are not hunted down by any predators uh, while they are eating. As mentioned earlier, the stomach uh, of the ruminants is divided into four chambers, rumin, reticulum, omasum, and uh, abomasum. This process of digestion begins with the first two chambers of the stomach, the rumen retic and reticulum by softening the ingested matter. Uh, later, the microbes present in the rumen produced in the uh, cellul 
the cellulose enzymes required to digest the cellulose. And once the plant fibers have been broken down to provide vitamins, proteins, and other organic acids, the situation are observed into the animal's uh, bloodstream. Cortis plants are sent further into the next chamber for further digestion. Here is the is where the first bacteria reaction takes place. Takes place. Um, This place and the food is formed into soft channels and the coat. And after that, the coat uh, produces in their liquids back into the animal's mouth and yeah, come back again to the mouth. And, <coughs> and they can chew it again. The saliva of the cows greatly aids uh, in the digestion child. Uh, after shearing, care after shearing, and uh, the food bypasses the two chambers of the stomach and directly enters uh, the third chamber. The third chamber, and uh, the third chamber is a muscle, and uh, the walls of the third chamber must um, compact the food molecules for the uh, further and then pass into the fourth chamber is a uh, abomasum and uh, uh, in the abomasum the final digestion in the stomach is carried by the abomasum and then pass it to the intestine and go to the bloodstream and the nutrition go to the body of the cow. Uh, this is uh, most in Osopagus. Uh, this is a process of in uh, saliva. There are certain electrolytes such as uh, sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and uh, phosphor and urea, which uh, can increase the speed of the fermentation process. And the rumen is the place for the fermentation process of inco incoming food uh, and provides energy. And microbial proteins for the needs of the metabolic process. A ruminous is a complex ecosystem in, inhabited by several microbial, uh, mostly bacteria, protozoa, and fungi, that play an important role in the digestion of food. Uh, maximum growth rumen conditions should have a pH ranging from uh, 5.5 to 7.2 and temperature between 38 to 41 uh, degrees Celsius degrees. And after that is amazon. Amazon is suffers, suffers in helping to reduce the size of feed particles <coughs> and has an effect on the control of ingestion flow into the back of abdomen as well as some nutrition absorption occurs in the abomasum. And after that, abomasum, this abomasum is the first place where the digestion, digestion of food chemically due to presence of gastric saps, secretion, mucosa, mucosa abomasum condition consists of glad cell, gladular cells that Products as uh, GL, um, chloride acid, sorry, and <coughs> pepsinogen as uh, in other mammals, abomasum, uh, small intestine, include the denum, the genome, and ileum, uh, no, and colon, include cecum and colon, and re rectum are the back uh, gastric gastrointestinal tract and, and after the pathway degradation of cells in the rumens uh, plant cell walls uh, contains a mixture mixture of <coughs> polysaccharides uh, of high molecular weight the major components are cells uh, hemicellulose and microbes <coughs> Uh, 
Cellulose is the uh, structural polymers of glucose residues uh, joined by beta uh, 1,5,4 linches. This contents with struct and glycogen, which are strong materials, also consisting uh, solely of the glucose, but with a uh, alpha 1,4 linches hemisol linches. Hemicellulose is a mixture of sorted by polymers consisting of a variety of sugars, especially manosa, galactosa, cellulose, and nari <coughs> in, in addition to glucose. <coughs> Lignin is different from these other polymers in two major respects. First, it is not a polymer polysaccharides, but consists of aromatic residues. Primary penny uh, the name is primary penny penyl propanus rings, and the second lignin is cross-linked into a and in soluble three dimensional uh, meswork structure. Uh, <coughs> first amount of chemical derivatives pr primary from plant cell was uh, available as agricultural water products in, in nature fungi and soil bacteria degrade degrade this material slowly engineering uh, engineering this pathway to in channels the rate of re reaction will be very beneficial with a simple composition regular structure as the uh, to dig to degree of lignin and the most difficult. Okay, the pathway of protein uh, protein digestion in the ruminants uh, animals can be divided into two phases. Uh, the first is Digestion uh, uh, is a degradation <coughs> in the retic reticulomer, and uh, the second is digestion in the abomasum and small intestine. Therefore, in the ruminants, animals, dietary proteins are, are classified as rumen degradable and rumen non degradable proteins. Protein begins in the stomach, gastrin uh, hormone in the, initiates uh, the breakdown of proteins in the stomach. The presence of the of food in the stomach leads to <coughs> to the secretion to the secretion secretion of pepsinogen by the chief cells of the gastric mucosa. Pepsinogen is activated from to from from the pepsin active from through all the chloral acid produced by parietal cell or the gastric mucosa. Pepsin is um the peptidase the peptidase in young in young animals milk co coagulation. Renin is secreted into the stomach for Cloud formation, uh, which ions in transport into the small intestines. The next po the next portion of digestion occurs at the small intestine, which uh, plays a major role in protein digestion. The hormone sec sec <coughs> secretion. In the diadenum, uh, stimulates enzymatic secretion from the pancreas, which includes the includes three inactive forms: uh, trypsinogen, uh, uh, trypsinogen, and procarboxypeptidase. And terkinase, um, 
also secreted at the duodenum confers trypsinogen into, tryp into trypsin, which the uh, confers confers by the confers chemotrypsinogen and procarboxypeptidase to their active forms chemotrypsin and carboxypeptidase. The digestion is finished by the digestion is finished off by other enzymes including amino peptides and the, the peptides uh, from mucosal membranes. The goal of this process is to bring poly polypeptides down to single free amino acid, just like car carbohydrates and fast absorption and facilitated by the phyli phyli by the phyli within the small intestine into the bloodstream and normal free proteins are transport via active via active transport energy requiring and and your sodium as a kind of uh, transport mo molecule Whole proteins use uh, direct transport method that does not require energy. Free amino acid, <coughs> free amino acid uh, are the major from the absorption into the circulatory system. However, uh, some D3 and oligopeptides are also absorbed. A specific carrier pro protein based on the nature of the amino acid. Um, are involved in the amino acid transport. The naturally occurring L form formation of amino acid are absorbed preferentially to the formation. <coughs> some, ami some amino acid may uh, compete with other for carrier proteins and transport. For example, ar arginine inhibits li lysine transport and high concentration of lysine increase to need for isolation. Some natural amino acid inhibits basic amino acid transport. Uh, this is the lipid digestion uh, in the rumens. Uh, yeah, we can see the deal. The lipid degradation is contained with the adiposa tissue, and so the more completely we call it about adiposa tissue. So the pathway of milk and adiposa tissue is uh, the from degradation of uh, degradation of three uh, degradation of uh, fatty acid or three glycos uh, glyco Glycerida, sorry. So the tissue, the adiposite tissue surface, an essential role for survival and reproduction in mammals. Yeah, this is uh, really survivors and reproduces in mammals, especially females. Uh, it serves primarily as an energy storage organs and is directly linked to the reproduct reproductive uh, success uh, of mammals. In wild animals, adiposa tissue function is <coughs> linked to seasonality of the food supply to support fetal growth and milk production. Adiposa tissue deforms in ruminants and non ruminants can secrete many uh, signal molecules adipo, uh, adipokines uh, that such as hormones and as pro and anti inflammatory uh, cytokines. <coughs> the visceral adipose tissue especially appears. To be more endocrinologically active, active 
than already positive parts. The endocrine function is important for the overall long-term regulation of energy metabol of energy metabolism and plays an important role in the adaptation to lacto lactation in many mammal spe species, including humans. Uh, for them, more endocrine signals for. In, There are uh, immune function and inflammatory response, energy uh, immunostatic and modulated by changes in feed intake, insulin sensitive, sensitivity, and energy expenditure, expenditure a process that can be influenced by adipokinase and the brain and peripheral and peripheral tissue. Yeah, we can see it in the slide. So, <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. I really say thank you very much for your attention. And also thank you very much for my lecture, <clears throat> Dr. Primenos Slovati. I'm sorry I, uh, for my songs. I'm getting sick, so uh, thank you. Thank you very much.